Hi, everybody. Here we are with our grammar workbook for the week. We're doing pages 16 and 17, and it's on past tense irregular verbs. So these are verbs that don't follow those rules. We don't just add ED. In the box, it has some examples. These are the present tense, get. And yesterday I got, do. Yesterday I did. Ride, yesterday I rode. Ring, yesterday I rang. As um, they said in one of the videos, a lot of times they just change the vowel. Not always, but a lot of times. And that's what we're seeing here. So I'm going to scroll on down and we have these words in the box, road, do, ring, got, get, rang, did, ride. Now we want to make sure we're using the past tense. So we are going to be using the past tense, road, got, rang, and did. Those are the ones that we want to use for our sentences. So um, let's get started. Number one says, my alarm blank early this morning. So that's in the past tense. What does an alarm do? It rings. So in the past tense, we are going to say rang, R-A-N-G. I'm just going to cross that one out. Number two, I blank my bike to school. Remember, again, we want the past tense. So we are going to say road, R. O D E. Let's cross that one off too. Oopsie. So number three there. I blank well on the math test. So this is in the past tense, not something we're doing right now, but what you did. So we are going to write did. D I D. And then finally, here I blank a very high grade. So, not get, that's in the present. We're going to say, I got G O T. I got a very high grade. Number five wants us to change the verb to past and then rewrite the sentence. So we ride on the train. We're going to change that to what happened in the past. And we're going to say we rode, R-O-D-E, on the train. And don't forget your period. Great. If you need to pause right there, go ahead. I'm going to move on to the next page. <clears throat> okay, so here we are. We have some new verbs to be looking at. We have send, but yesterday I sent. I say something. Yesterday I said it. I leave. Yesterday I left. I wear. And yesterday I wore. These are starting to get a little more complicated. They're not just changing a single vowel. There's a lot of the words changing, um, but they are irregular and they do not have ed at the end. So we are choosing on this page, we are choosing one of the words in the parentheses to finish the sentence, and then we're going to write it.
So we're going to circle and write. Number one, we leave or left the house last night. That's happening in the past, last night. So we're going to say left, and we're going to go ahead and circle it. And then we'll type it here. L-E-F-T, left. Number two, we said or say goodbye to mom, but now we want the past tense. So we said, I'm gonna circle that part, and then we'll write it on the line. S-A-I-D, said. Theo wore or wear, a wrinkled shirt. Think about it as yesterday. Yesterday he wore. So I'm going to circle that and again I'm going to write it on the line W O R E. Number four Dad send or sent him back. I'm guessing that's Theo with his wrinkled shirt. Dad sent him back to change his clothes, I'm sure. Sent, S-E-N-T. Excellent. Boys and girls, I need to scroll down to do the last one or two. So, uh, you can pause if you haven't quite finished these first four. Excellent. So our last two, we're going to rewrite the sentence changing the verb, making it past tense. So number five says, I send a gift. We're going to change send to sent. I sent, S-E-N-T, a gift. Don't forget to start with a capital and end with a period. We changed send to send. Number six, I say goodbye. Say, yesterday I said, S A I D, goodbye. Again, remember to start with your capital, leave good space, and put a period at the end of your sentence. Thanks for working hard with me, boys and girls. I will see you in class. Bye.